Dude, uh, speaking of Presence Day, you know uh, David Letterman's back on Netflix. Have you I seen this? He has his own show on Netflix. Yeah, I actually did. He's got a beard now. Beard looks terrible. Yeah, it does. looks terrible. He just looks. He, he aged overnight. I forget what's, what. Because well, you never see him for well, all these I years. Did his show, back. I did his show in 1999, and he was so old looking. Really? Uh, in 99? Close, I was like, damn, he's really? old. Yeah. How old did you do? There it is. Uh, so he looks like my, Santa my Claus. next guest needs no Santa. introduction. Yeah, he looks like that's like a mall Santa you'd see that murders people. <laughs> he does. Mall Santa. When you did David Letterman, did you they give you three minutes, four minutes, six minutes? Five minutes. And he was um he didn't want to meet you beforehand. And then while I was in the middle of my set, he was looking in his under his in his drawer. For what? I don't know. It was so something? distracting. I was like, oh shit, That's this guy's looking. He's in his drawer in the set, middle he, of my set. It's weird because you can hear those things. I could and hear pick it. Up those things. Yeah. It was so fucking. And weird. then what? And then uh, did anything happen after then? It's a really did it help you at all back then. Nineteen ninety nine. No, I think I got laid that night, but it didn't help me. Well, otherwise, I don't think you need Letterman for that. No. Playboy. No, it just didn't. It just was what it was. Different, right? But when it was the Tonight Show and all back that. Back then, it was a big deal, sort of. I mean, how'd you get like on people there? People saw you on it. They were doing new comedians, and I was like a new young new comedian. comedian. And uh, they were like, they saw me at the comic strip. They were like, you'd be great. You know, it kicked off on the main card with Sage Northcutt and uh, Gutierrez. Um, man, you know, a lot of people go, man, you're so hard on Sage Northcutt. You know, a lot of people hate on Sage Northcutt. I think there's a difference there. I think a lot of people hate on Sage Northcutt because he gets a lot of the attention. He's similar to the the male version of Paige Van Zandt. Um, great looking people, huge uh, marketable ceiling there. Good looking, blonde, not a ton of experience, but who, who knows where they're going to get to. Paige is a little different of an advantage because she is a female fighter and she has room to grow and the female fighters have not been around as long. Sage is in a completely different kind of category. He's at lightweight, which is one of the heaviest um, talented divisions in the world, if not the number one uh, most talented division in the world. Lightweight, welterweight, there's an argument there. I'll probably go with lightweight for now, though. Um, you know, so when I look at Sage, I think the number one thing about Sage Northcutt, super athletic, great work ethic, phenomenal person, uh, phenomenal human being. I think the biggest mistake his family and manager ever made was getting him to the UFC so early. He, he doesn't have the experience. He's not really great at anything. Uh, I guess if you had to, if, if this was a video game, you had to give a huge, you know, what's his best attribute? He's athletic, not, not great jujitsu, not great wrestling. All right, striking. There's not very. There's there's just not this huge kind of upside. I, I I don't see it. And the bummer is, is he has the potential to be a world champion, but he will never be a world champion because they ruined his youth and his time to grow, and he has no chance to gain experience and get better now. And they go, well, in five years, in five years, you can't keep giving Sage Northcutt guys like Gutierrez, who he lost to. If this fight is not in Texas, Sage Northcutt loses this fight. And the only time Sage Northcutt actually had a test against a real up-and-comer, a guy who has actually a ton of potential, a ton of talent, is Mickey Gall. Mickey Gall, you know, beat him. So, you know, the, he's just not he's, – he, he's nowhere near the level of a UFC fight. Um, and when you watch that Northcutt uh, Gute fight, um, you know you watch that Brandon Davis Stephen Peterson fight. You, you, those first two fights is not at a high level of mixed martial arts. That's not a quality product that you put on Fox. It's just not. And this is not a knock on any of those four fighters. It's not. It's if you watch them and then you watch you know uh, Don Cerrone versus Yancey, or you watch some of these other fighters. It's it's just it's just not to that level. Um, but we do t tune in. They put a bunch of marketing behind Sage Northcutt. Um, if I had to bet, and I'm a betting man, you guys all know this, and I will put my money where my mouth is. I think in four years, Sage Northcutt has a different job. I think he focuses on school. Um, maybe he's uh, some sort of fitness model. I don't know, but I do not see uh, the him and the UFC um, together in four years. And I was just a dick. I had to. I, I had look to back on the Frank in 3D. God, that was so much fun. Right, was one of the best times ever. Ever. I mean, I, I, we, we haven't even thought – we should watch them again, man. They're so good. The outtakes are so funny. So good. Cannot stop laughing. Oh. We got to do something like that again. 
Yeah, man, we would sit down and come up with ideas. It was amazing. But but remember, it was really just you, me, and Mitch. Yeah. It was a three-man team, basically. Wow. And Fox funded it, but it was all Brian. It all fell on Brian and I, to be honest. That's right. And then Mitch would kind of help out, too. And yeah, then, Mitch was huge. Was, you and me would come up with all these key ideas. And I think if we had more help, if we actually were with a network who supported us. And had like you know, in a production team. Oh, like yeah. a legit, not Fox. Like, yeah. it was basically the Bad News Bears. We were like Sandlot. Like, yeah. it was just, can you hold a camera? Yeah. Do you have any background? No. Yep. Can, can you write? No. Yep. I'll try it. It was kind of that. And it would and always be that way. We were like actors, producers, directors. Yeah. And thank God Brian has experience. Like, nope, we can't do this. Nope, we can't do that. It was, you know, and, and Mitch. Mitch is a fucking yes. veteran. You know, I mean, just, but it was, uh, it was we, so much fun. We pe- could do it. People again. ask all the time. But we've been offering off people were like, man, you should do it. We should do it. You and I just need to find the time to do it. That we, was, but to be honest, like I have my Showtime thing going on now. I have my stand up going on now. E, you have all your stuff. The the good news, hopefully, about your show getting greenlit, your spinoff, which is fucking huge. Hashtag it's all you've ever wanted. Hopefully, it happens. You know, that all this happens is positive, but it's, and it's all good and dandy, but it's not as fun as when we do. Fire and that's and what I, I was thinking about that. I was like, if if we, if you and I got a team together, a real team together and decided to do a real sketch show, it could be, uh, dude, I I've, think it'd be as good as anything. But before I pitched the show to Showtime, I met with, you name a production company. I met with them and pitched yeah. them this show. And every single one they'd mention, what's up? What, what about finding the kid? What about you and Brian doing a thing? And all of them would mention it. I go, we're ready. I mean, literally, we have a million ideas. I know. That would be Built the idea, an just a variety sketch show. Let's just do it and pull all our friends into it. Like Joe Rogan, like Chris D'Elia, like Will Sasson. Rappaport. Like Rappaport, like, like fucking Skyler. athletes. Yeah. Yeah, Skyler. We have a roster of dudes to guest star on that shit. But you could do it like you know, like uh, like the Larry David show. It's ex- ex- exaggerations of your life in these situations Correct. with Brian and Brendan. That you have your friends and yeah, and just make it a little bit over the top. Correct. You know, fuck. That's what we want to do, man. Do it. That's what's fun. I know. Doing it wrong. I'm having fun now. What I'm doing, it's just different because it's, it's it's not as fun when you're not with your friends. You know what I'm saying? Don't be wrong. I love all the guys I work with, but it's not the same. I know. I could do that because the best you, when when, when you and I would do it and, and then, just that yeah. show. Especially it was like, because the best would you and I would come up with an idea, and then when you see it executed, you're like, oh, fuck, that was cool. I know. 